GTA 5 has a new adversary mode came out recently and it's called Power Map. Basically, it's a death match between team of 2 to 4 with a maximum of 8 players, where you go to the weird thing in the central of the map and turn into a weird thing with a very powerful weapon and stay there until the circle of the color of your team fill up, which you will get a point and who get the most point or target point in the time limit win the run. This game mode does remind me an adversary mode that is not so new and that is called Jurlint where you are the weird thing with a very powerful weapon but there is a different. In that game mode, if you are the weird thing, your team loses if you die. But in this power map, even if you die as a weird thing, your team doesn't lose. If you are playing as a team of two, then of course the best idea is to make sure at least one of you get to the weird thing because once you turn into the weird thing, it's quite hard to kill you because you have a very powerful weapon, even you do walk around very slowly. If you play with friends, it is all in good fun. But if you play with strangers, then good luck with that. Because people leave the game all the time due to all sorts of reasons such as they are losing, that put their team into a huge disadvantage that will bring more people to leave the game. In fact, in GTA 5, people leave game all the time even when I was recording my last video when I was playing overtime rambles with strangers. Anyway, there isn't much to talk about this game. All you need to do is try your best to become the weird things and don't get killed until your team get a point, then you switch back to a human being. Fun to play with if you are playing with friends, but it could turn into disaster if you were to play with strangers. And that is why I believe most people play it because of the double cash and RP. Well that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed this little short video and if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you later.